of the North, made in 1922, is said to be the very first documentary ever filmed. Filmed with a camera, so huge and immovable, that it took four men to carry. Today, filmmakers have the ease and accessibility to film with the smallest and most advanced cameras, ones that Flatty could only ever dream of. Most recently, digital SLR cameras have become a favourite amongst amateur filmmakers, such as this one, providing beautiful visual aesthetics that may help change the face of documentaries for future generations. My name is Gurtset uh, Setendamp and I am 60. I learned to ride with my father when I was two and started racing horse when I was five. The boy who rides my racing horse is called Bolt Pursuren. The importance of keeping up with the advancement of technology where possible are shown in this clip from John Pilger's earlier works, Pilger in Australia. Fourteen years ago, I did what thousands of my Australian generation did. I left. I left without ever really knowing... Had Pilger used digital to film this, not only would the quality have been more amazing, but so would have the longevity of the film. As you'll probably know, Australia is a rich and very lucky country. One of the greatest advantages of digital cameras is their agility and size, making it possible to achieve closeness to the subject that was never before possible, as is seen in this documentary film, To Hell and Back Again. The close proximity of the cameraman to the action makes the viewer feel part of every moment that is being shown on the screen and not simply a distant observer. Affordability and ease of use have made it possible for many aspiring filmmakers to make first-time documentaries with little funds. Documentaries such as One Day in March are first-time wonders and give talented filmmakers a chance to prove their talents. On the other hand, the internet is full of amateur documentaries that are far from impressive on any level. for documentary films to be made with a certain camera. What is important is that documentaries move with the times, in every sense of the word, both visually advancing with whatever technology is available to them, and improving through narrative and style. Newer, more advanced technology should not be used to compromise the quality of the documentary film. McLuhan suggests the most important is the medium that the message is delivered in, but that does not imply that we as filmmakers should reduce the quality of the message or the truth of the film simply 
because we can make up for it in visual aesthetics. After all, as media academic Keith Beatty says, there is a moral contract or bond of trust between the producer and the viewer of documentary films. Therefore, the aim of making a documentary film is to tell the truth and deliver a message to the audience that they would not otherwise have been able to access or comprehend. The medium of television is moving faster than ever before. Let's not move with it for the sake of moving, but use what means are available to us to advance the way in which we are able to deliver our message. <laughs>